Hello class, I wanted to give you some advice on doing quick figure drawings to capture the gesture and the angles of the body and uh, to give you an idea of what your drawing should look like in those two minute marks. So uh, here I have my sample image and I'm going to set a two minute timer and so let's begin. So my two minute timer starts. The first thing I'm going to do is do head measurements on this one two, three, four, just generally to understand um, how tall this pose is. Then I'll check the height to the width. It's taller than it is wide. And so I'm just making a couple really quick measurements to get started. And the first thing that I want to point out is never use too much detail in the beginning. You are just going to throw down some quick lines uh, in order to roughly place your figure and I just did the flute that he's playing because that helps me with the proportions. So uh, I still have over a minute left. So that's my first pass through with the lines once I get this foot down. So the next thing that I'm going to do is um, I'm going to check the orientation of the shoulders. Sometimes you can draw a line actually and you should always understand what the spine is doing what the shoulders are doing and what the hips are doing. So the hips are really foreshortened. So that tells me that my proportion is off here. I'm giving too much of the side of the body. Okay, uh, next I'm gonna look at negative space shapes. So this triangle can shift and make sure that the changes you make to the drawing are meaningful. I have 27 seconds left. I think the head could be a little bit bigger and just in those last few seconds I might just tidy up what's going on there. And that's two minutes. So your drawing should not be pretty at the two minute mark. You should just be attempting to capture the angles of the limbs, some of the general proportions, and make a couple corrections. That's all you should have time for in two minutes. Okay, so uh, next I will set a five minute timer and show you what you can expect for five minutes with the drawing. So I've got my second reference. And so I'm going to begin. I'm going to do head measurements. And I'm actually going to go from the top of the hair bun to the uh, where I can see her necklace at the left for my head measurement. So that way I know exactly what it is. Two, three, three and a half. So she's about three head heights tall as the pose. So I'll just roughly put in about three and a half head heights and that can roughly let me place the body, check the orientation of the spine. There's an uh, angle to it. And then now I'm going to uh, use the negative space shape here to try to orient the left side proportions. Tracing the air for angles of limbs. With five minutes, you will have time to do a little bit of shading, but I want you to use the majority of the five minutes to measure. You don't get too involved too early with detail. It's, oops, I'm adding on to an extra head. Oops. Um, here it's important to note that the shoulders are not straight across. I can check the orientation of her shoulders, but you really want to, with figure drawing, pay attention to the subtle curves and angles of the human body. That's what really makes a strong figurative drawing. It's well-observed portions, angles. I like using the soft charcoal because 
it's easy to change your mistakes and adjust. It can just be sort of wiped away. And drawing features of the space, such as this circle hoop that she's holding, um, that can be very useful. In five minutes, I'm not expecting much from this drawing in terms of absolute precision, but it's enough time to make some good observations. So just like roughly going to play my circle and this tells me that my proportions, oops, are very, very off here. So uh, rather than use the circle to um, measure, well, actually, maybe it does make more sense. Whenever you need to change your proportions, you always need to ask yourself what's going to be less work. So I had the option of changing the circle or changing the figure in the circle. And I think I'm actually going to, because this is very early on in the drawing, just adjust my figure to the circle. Because the circle's wonky, but it's pretty circular. Longer strokes with the charcoal as you're observing the angles and as those angles shift, like here, can be more effective than what I would call chicken scratch, which is this, just kind of making small marks timidly. You want to make well-placed observations and just record that information in. Now I'm going to check the negative space shape of the hoop. going to be useful at this point is actually a head measurement just to see what features of the body are appearing at what places and as you notice my figure keeps scaling up as I'm adjusting my proportions and I'm in control of that whether or not the changes to my proportions will shrink or enlarge the figure remember the larger you draw more room you have for detail. So I'm just going to clean up a little bit of this preliminary line work and measuring. And that's five minutes. So not much was accomplished, but that's what I want you to use that time for is measuring. And so the next thing I would have done for this is do head measurements. So one, two, three. One, two, three, so that actually works out really well, and we could do head width. One, one right there. That lines up about what I was seeing as well. So that's just some uh, demo drawing to help you with these quick gesture drawings.